Hi Aquarius, I'm G1 Lady with G1 Insights and I am doing your extended mini love focus for the month of April 2020. And I really hope that everything resonates with you, if not all of you. So when I did your life and love energy for the month of April, I feel like Spirit wanted me to do something a bit more, okay? So that is what I'm presenting to you guys today, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I really love you guys, and let's get started. Okay, all right, so I already kind of shuffled, so let's just go, all right? Uh-oh. Woo, that card fell out. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, so let's look at the first card. So lightning. Okay, so there's definitely some like a tower moment happening when it comes to your love or your love situation, like some type of shocking news or somebody bringing up something to you that's going to really shock you or surprise you. If you guys didn't already have this happen to you in the month of March, this is definitely going to happen to you in the month of April where there's going to be like this, wow. I was not expecting it. How did this happen? Where did you come from? Type of thing, okay? But this is definitely something, kind of like an epiphany or some type of surprise. I feel like you guys kind of, kind of knew that this may happen, but you just wasn't quite sure. Like, you couldn't really put your fingers on it, okay? Let's see the next energy. All right. Ooh, the snake. So somebody is definitely being sneaky, guys. Somebody is definitely being sneaky or not really telling you the whole truth. So I feel like somebody is like kind of like guiding you along and stringing you along, but not really being honest with you or telling you everything up front, okay? Now, the snake. There is a lot of competition. This person could even see you as like um, competition. This person could even possibly be a bit jealous of you. So this could be even possibly some envy that is taking place um, beneath the surface, okay? Um, malicious. This person is very malicious. Look over your shoulder. You may have to feel like every time you're around this person, you have to constantly look over, like, you know, or if it's not in a physical sense, and this is, you know, constantly feeling like, well, I don't know if I could trust you, you know. Um, if I could trust you, then I'm going to have to have a little bit more time to, to build trust with you because, you know, out of everything you have done to me, I'm not sure if I can trust you. So you may have this, these moments of feeling like, hmm, you know, even if this person is being honest with you or telling you the whole truth or maybe this person is being really loyal to you. Maybe they have screwed you over recently and maybe it's taking you a bit longer to actually forgive them. Maybe they have lied to you, right? But this energy here is saying, well, I don't know. I need more time because something about this whole situation just don't add up. Something just don't seem right. Okay, but someone is definitely either lying or being very sneaky or trying to make you seem like uh, the bad guy in all of this, okay? Um, and for those of you, you know, for some of you, this could be the other woman, you know? So be careful who you kind of, you know, if you're going to put your eggs in a basket, make sure that you're putting all of your eggs in the right basket or put on, or not putting all of your eggs in the same basket. Make sure that you are being very particular about everything that you're doing because for what I feel like somebody is being sneaky around you or not really telling you the whole truth, wearing a mask, okay? So let's look at uh, the next energy here, okay? Going forward. So we had the coffee cup. It came out in reverse. So maybe this is like a date that had went wrong or maybe um, you guys were supposed to meet up and you guys weren't able to. Or maybe when you did, the connection just wasn't really quite there, okay? But this can be meeting or conversing, having long conversations. Maybe even maybe you tried to get to know this person and it wasn't working. But for some of you, maybe you are in a position where you are trying to meet new people so this could also represent you meeting up with new people in a new environment you know doing bigger and better things okay um savoring the moment you know um capturing great memories making sure that 
you know, you guys don't take this moment for granted, okay? Feeling really uplifted, getting in touch with old friends, or maybe you and this person have a chemistry because you were once friends, and or maybe you suddenly realize like this person that you have feelings for, you're really good friends with, or maybe you're really good friends with someone that you have deep feelings for. But somebody needs to tell the truth about what they're really going through or what they're really feeling because I feel like somebody is not really totally being honest um, either with you or maybe you're the one that's not being totally honest with this individual. But the love is there, but the problem is honesty, okay? Honesty needs to happen, okay? Let's look at the next energy. Wow, love, of course. Like I said, the chemistry is there, the love is there, the support is there. But at the end of the day, if everybody's hiding from one another, if nobody's being real with each other, what are we fighting for, okay? Unconditional love, self-love. Love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So again, there's a lot of deep chemistry between you and this particular individual. You know, again, I just feel like either you or this person is kind of hiding like this, this, um, this, you're hiding this particular aspect of yourself for this individual, okay? And that is the problem because it's like it needs to come out your personality needs to shine this person need their personality to shine so either you're holding back or they're holding back but somebody needs to stop holding back when it's all said and done again i don't know if you're going to be the one to kind of say here this is the plan this is what i feel you know i'm tired of going back and forth and maybe you're the one that's going to cause the breakup or the a reaction from this person or if they are the one that's going to shock you uh, because maybe you didn't think that they were strong enough to really cut you loose and really tell you about yourself okay but maybe this could also be just some simple revelation you know something you just kind of simply realize that is occurring at the moment okay and when it's all said and done you can kind of choose to deal with it or not okay but something is being brought up to the surface. Something is being um, realized at this point in time, okay? There can also be, I just heard jealousy. This can also be a lot of jealousy taking place, okay? Maybe this person can be a very uh, malicious, jealous person. And not necessarily just of you, but... Uh, kind of just overprotective over you and I think that that is part of why you're holding back and why you don't want to fully get into this person because you fear the unknown you don't want to get into this partnership with this person knowing that they do have a crazy side that they can be possessive that they can be really outspoken, that they can be really aggressive at times. But at the same time, that is the same exact reasons why you love them so much. Like, it's a very interesting um, energy here when it comes to this particular individual. Whoever this is, you know, some, either you or maybe even both of you guys are actually holding back, like, a lot. You're holding back. And Spirit is saying that you really need to find this time to open up, to have those conversations about your flaws, about things you like, things you don't like. As you begin to have these open conversations, things will begin to heal, okay? So let's see what your soul is yearning for. Are there anything that spirit may want to share with you or um, get you on board for? Okay, let's see what spirit has for you when it comes to your soul's energy, my love, okay? I already pre-shuffled. So this shouldn't take too long, guys, okay? A relationship that is important to you, Aquarius, is someone who is like a friend, you know? If they can be a friend, if they can make you laugh, be there during hard times, be there during the sad times, the happy times, the funny weird moments when you really don't feel like yourself or that moment where you just wake up grumpy and they still love you anyway. Like you guys yearn for that type of love, you know? And 
not only that, but you need someone who really totally gets you on an intellectual level. So for you, it's a bit different when it comes to love, you know. You don't want to be tied down, but you want to be in love. You know, it's like, I want to be in love, but I don't want you, you know, if I'm going to be in love with you, I don't want you taking away my happy time, shit. Like, I want to be able to still enjoy my life if I'm going to be in love, you know. And that is true love. Because, see, when we love someone unconditionally, there is no room for control. There is no room for possessiveness or obsession or fear. There is no room for that. When you love someone unconditionally, okay, there, it's like, yeah, I love you. I'm crazy about you. But I love you also enough to know that you're not going anywhere. That I know that even when you go out to work, you're going to come back home to me. That even when you go out and hang with your friends, you're going to still return my phone calls. You're going to check in with me. You're going to message me. You know, you're going to say, hey, sweetie, how you doing? You know, there's still that, that natural submission there. And I think that that is what you, Aquarius, yearn for the most, you know? So let's see what spirit has for you because that's what I'm feeling. I feel like you do want love, but you want love without all the crazy restrictions is what I feel, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow, forgiveness came out, okay? So forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So, yes, this is probably the best time for you, Aquarius, to really just open up and say, you know what, this is what I really feel. You know, I didn't approach you, and I didn't take this love between us seriously because you've always been very possessive, and I like to be free, and I like to be expressive, and I like to be able to do me and be able to be friends with the person that I'm in love with. And you strike me as this real serious, you know, needy type of individual and that's just not me like I want to be able to still be myself even being crazy in love with you I want to still be able to be myself and I think that is the biggest part of your expression this season when it comes to love is allow me to be me and I will love you forever you know not the disrespectful part not the bipolar part you know and I don't mean that with all love. Of course, you know, I love you. <laughs> but you guys got a little something going on up there. I don't know what it is. Okay? But, in other words, okay, guys, you're a very flighty individual. And it takes a very strong person to say, okay, they're not, you know, upset with me. They're just having one of them days. You know? Like, it takes somebody that really, really loves you and understands you to understand, okay, she's not trying to hurt me. He's not trying to break my heart. He's just he's just having one of his moments, you know? And when you find somebody like that that is okay with you having your little moments, okay? Not the, the infidelity part, not the cheating part, but the part of I woke up and I'm not in a I'm not in a good mood today, type of you, right? And they still love you unconditionally. Like they really love just seeing you for you. They love seeing your face. They love seeing the fact that you're so amazing and beautiful. They love having intellectual conversations with you, right? That is the person that is going to capture your heart the most because they are not sitting here with judgment. They are sitting here saying, uh I already know she's crazy, <laughs> right? And they can laugh at it and still love you because they know your heart. That is the person you want, right? Not someone who's boring and predictable, but in fact, someone who is just as unpredictable as you, know how to have a little fun, but still love you when you have one of your days because even when you can't always be in a position to accept that person when they have one of their days, right? They will still give you many reasons why you love them and why you should continue to love them. That is what you desire the most. But it all happens when you learn to forgive people from your past, people that have hurt you or betrayed you, who have left you stranded, who made you feel like you were really nothing to begin with, right? When we tend to let go of people's perception of us, we tend to be a lot more happier. We are able to 
flow th through the waves of life and, you know, take things as, oh, whatever, I know this person. So I know that they're not doing this to hurt me intentionally, you know? Like, it feels so good to say that with confidence when you know this person understand you and they get you on a whole nother level. And no matter if you guys are together every day or you live together or you're separated or maybe they live in one household and you live in another, it doesn't matter. The chemistry between you won't lie, okay? So you, but you have to practice that forgiveness. I forgive myself because I know I could do better. I know that I can be a better man. I know that I can be a better woman. So I forgive myself, you know? And as I forgive myself, I'm going to also take this time to forgive you for fucking with me at the time when you, <laughs> you know, I'm not always my best. You know, I'm not always myself, you know? And as you begin to do that, it's so okay it's okay to say look this I'm, I'm not having the best time right now okay I'm, I'm fucked up I'm going through things you know it's it's okay to admit that and a person that is truly for you they will have no problem with you being you do you understand <coughs> excuse me Aquarius so I love you and I thank you for watching Okay, this is your love extended mini love reading for the month of April 2020. I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. And I'm so looking forward to next season because I feel like this season for you when it comes to love is really all about growth. It's all about growth, okay? So I love you, Aquarius. You have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And I wish you nothing but the best. Stay stable, secure, and safe. Until next time.